ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਅਮਨਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡ ਈ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਲਾਈਵ ਦੇ ਮਾਧਿਅਮ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਕੁਝ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਲਾਕਡਾਊਨ ਦੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਕਰੀਏ ਤੇ ਬੈਸਟ ਮੂਮੈਂਟ ਉਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਸ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਜਾਂ ਕਾਲਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਧਾਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਰੈਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਟਿਵ ਹੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਆ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਸਕਣ ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਨਾ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਰੀਲੀ ਰੀਲੀ ਆਨਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰਿਵਿਲੇਜ ਟੂ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਨੈਂਟ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਸੇ ਥੈਟ ਏਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਏਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਕਾਲਜ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ ਹੋਲਡਸ ਇਟਸ ਓਨ ਪਰਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਓਨ ਵੈਲਿਊਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਚਰ that's the beauty of education in canada so i would really really like to welcome mr pavan who represents brock university mr pavan it would be great if you can give your introduction to our viewers sure uh, thank you so much amandeep for calling me here today and i am uh, really grateful and thankful to e pyramid services to conduct this session today uh, hello everyone this is pavan deep singh and i am the relationship manager south asia for brock university um uh, i hope that you uh, guys know about brock university if you're interested to study in canada you must have done some research on it so we are located in ontario region which is next to one of the uh, beautiful and very famous location niagara falls so we are just 15 to 20 minutes away from niagara falls right. uh, located in a city called st catherine so in today's session we're going to have a lot for you guys so please stay tuned with us absolutely absolutely so uh, all the viewers who are watching us jinne bhi viewers sanu dekh rahe ne students te unna de maa pyo je tusi university bare kisi tarah di future communication ya enrollment bare koi bhi gal karni chande ho tusi comment section de vich apna point put kar sakde ho ya fir tusi thalle num dite hoye number te contact bhi kar sakde ho sade experts sanu constantly help karan ke university de bare jankari len layi ate sanu assi is session de vich bhi university bare dasde ravange so uh, uh, pavan before we start uh you know the current situation the way pandemic is hitting india right now and the way it is hitting canada and globe right now uh our industry has been impacted really badly har industry de vich impact paya hai but because sada industry international education travel te bahut zyada depend karda hai uh, so uh, how do you see things right now how how canada is seeing you know things right now what is the situation in canada and and how canada is looking at india right now if you can share with our viewers that would be great sure uh aman see the since the pandemic happened i mean it started last year you must be yeah. knowing that canada is one of the country who helped out you know students uh, in in a very good way they tackled the situation and things pretty well uh right. we, we were not sure that how the second wave gonna be you know happen this year again when they started up uh right. obviously government uh, they do not want to take any chances and but yes they are helping out all the institutions they are helping out all the students as well there they taking all the uh, precautionary measurements to keep the things under control in india we are knowing that the, how the things are going especially for last couple of months we are just right. hopeful that the things going to be better in the next couple of months where students are looking for fall or the coming winter intakes in uh, any of the institutions in canada so at the right. moment uh, government of canada as per the taking measurement because there is a lot of myth and lot of rumors going around in indian market that uh, there is a travel restrictions you know of course there are travel restriction it's just because for the safety fund concern for the international indian students itself and also their family and relatives out there uh, secondly in terms of coming sessions we are very much hopeful that the things going to be better in couple of months we we will be seeing students traveling to canada yes there would be some requirements like what we have as of now for the corona negative reports and others but yes students will be able to go for the blended learning and even on campus studying as well because a lot of institution they are planning to open their campus for september 2020 and further up that's great so i don't think there would be any problem it is a just of matter of time so the parents and the student those who are watching and even those who are not watching it is just a request for them that not to worry about it with time the things going to be better canada government canadian institutions they are doing very well to keep the things under control even at brock when we talk later on i'll tell you that what are the benefits we are offering to the international students and what support we are offering to them right right absolutely very well said that you know things are going to get better and one big aspect that you know uh, is is very positive that canadian government really helped out the students and the institutions and universities helped out the students when it all started and they are helping the students now also so uh, 
you you spoke about the you know travel restrictions and as you know that there is a uh, you know current scenario where students are unable to get their medicals done as well so which is also impacting impacting their mindset about about their uh, you know plans to study in canada should they apply for offer letter should they pay their deposits so you know how do you see things for for these kind of students what do you suggest them and what is your input your viewpoint about the changes expected how do you see the change coming like you said it will come in a you know couple of months which is which is really great and you know uh, motivating but what would you like to tell to the students what should be their mindset about it uh, well see there are a lot of relaxations what uh, immigration canada and institutions in canada they are offering to the students we right. we can definitely say that uh, they are supporting the best what they can do and in fact what we can do basically uh, however the student those who are just uh, double minded or those who are confused that whether they should go ahead with the tuition deposits or whether they should apply or wait you know the two things are got to be happen i mean in a better way so my suggestion to them as per my previous experience and what we generally talk at the university to the registrar team to the admission department uh, there would be nothing to worry about it first thing because blended learning is always open this is this is the future what i must say you know yeah. uh, even in india as well we know a lot of institutions they are offering the online courses online programs and guys please trust that this is the matter of time this is not going to be happen all over one day we all going to out of this current situation the pandemic going to be end one day so to to see your career to see your future institutions allow you and institution assure you especially brock university we assure you that if you are planning to study in september or in winters you don't have to worry about it you can go ahead by paying your tuition deposits you can apply for the visa you you can you know see medicals uh, uh, if they are not happening it is it is again just for a time being you know they have control because the situation in india is not good i mean you know it's yeah. getting better day by day because you must need to understand the medical you have to give it in india not in canada so uh, you even eventually have to go out for that you know so just to take the uh, precautionary measurement this thing has been stopped but um, very soon i guess you know uh, immigration canada will going to relax up and uh, it, it's going to be open again so you no need to worry at all please plan your future studies um it is the best time you know where you can apply you have ample of time to see which institution serves your purpose which program you need to get into uh, how much fees you need to pay up so everything you have in your control and in your hand so i guess not to take it as a negative side but take it as a positive that you you are getting ample of time to uh, get connect with your counselors with your team with your uh, you know organization with your parents with your mentors to see which program you know fits you in so so if you work like that way i don't think that a student will be having any problem in terms of paying deposits or getting enrolled or applying for offers or even going for medical because everything going to be start after a couple of times so that's 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 not at all a problem from our end especially when we speak to the um, admission team so they are they are happy and they are receiving a lot of students coming and joining us the university wow that's great that's great very very well said uh, pavan because i i completely agree with you a student should apply agar agar jitne bhi bacche jo hame sun rahe hain ya dekh rahe hain uh, i think agar aap abhi apply karte hain apply karne ke baad jab aap aapke applications embassy mein visa application ke liye bhi lagayenge so you will be in a queue राइट राधर अगर आप अभी वेट करते रहेंगे कि चीजें चेंज हो जाए चीजें यू नो स्मूथ हो जाए सेम लेवल पे आ जाए जिसको थोड़ा सा टाइम जरूर लगेगा तो आपकी एप्लीकेशन उतनी डिले होती रहेगी और प्रॉबेबली आपका इंटेक भी उतना डिले होता रहेगा एंड लाइक यू नो पवन जी सेड दैट ऑनलाइन बोर्ड blended mode and and uh, in person mode though the universities and the colleges in canada are targeting to be in person mode for september but these are the modes which will be carried out and whenever you get your visa and the you know foundations are open you can fly out to canada so you know don't wait apply on time apply to your dream college and university on time and why not brock university will we'll be talking more on the university in a few minutes so uh, that's that's really great you know uh, 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 to talk about the aspects that you just shared but what is the approach of the university right now what is university doing what is brock university doing in this situation how are they supporting students who are in canada 
you know uh, getting uh, attending their classes who are in india attending online classes who have got their visa you know uh, or have their file in process so what is what is happening from the end of uh, you know brock universities what are the policies brock is falling out sure so i'll going to talk about the two aspects of both the things as you mentioned one the student those are already studying at brock those who are in canada and those who are already applied either waiting for the decision or other uh, you know waiting uh, or or attending their own classes online or looking to apply so first part is that brock university is one of the first university who started the vaccination center at the campus itself for our own students this is one of the best way to secure the students because uh, uh, we have seen um, a lockdown in toronto and ontario for last couple of weeks uh, we did not wanted to take any chances and we have started our own vaccination center where we we were uh, you know uh, had all of the student vaccinated so this is one of the step which we had taken to ensure the safety of the students at the campus second uh, we are giving uh, and we have made of course you have the changes in the policy as well to give some relaxation to the students likewise we are giving the unconditional letters to all the students um, those who have not received their 12th board results and as we know that the cbsc has just you know dropped out uh, uh, dates to conduct the 12th board examination and on the predatory score card we are offering them the uh, seats for september intake uh, also apart from that uh, we have made few of the changes where we have opened few of the programs which are earlier closed so uh, just to give some relaxation to the students that yes they can apply to one of our or few of our popular programs um like business game design some others so we have still again started those courses for september 2021 and day uh so in that case yeah it's it's more of the relaxation i mean what we are offering to the students i mean they don't have to worry about it because online classes are are available you know our teachers are there it's recorded sessions we are offering they don't have to just go around with the canadian timings because a lot of it's uh, indian students face the problem that they cannot take the classes at midnight so we offer recorded sessions as well which they can go and uh, take by their own own uh, choice of time so uh, this is something what we offers at the moment uh, yeah that that's that's pretty cool in in terms of you know offering the um, relaxation to the international students that's great that's great i think the the key takeaway that i could take from what you just said is majorly that the that the brock university has set, set its own vaccination center at the university premises i what what more than that you know you would want and 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 just to just to talk about the the conditional offer letter support so you spoke about you know conditional offer support on academics as ielts exams are also not being conducted so would the university be supporting in uh, you know conditional offer while uh, in ielts as well uh yeah we are giving the ielts waiver if they they, they cannot go out, they cannot take the examination the hold up uh yes yeah, so without ielts they can apply through duolingo test because it's more of the easiest way to take the test by sitting at their home just using the internet connection you know in a couple of hours they can get the results so with duolingo uh yes of course they all can apply for conditional offer letters that's not at all a problem perfect perfect that's great so uh, moving ahead you know you spoke about you know students should go ahead for september intake or if they want to go for january intake uh, the, just to add on to that point can you can you share with us uh, if both the intakes are available right now and what would be the mode for them so far as per the current scenario what's going to be the mode for september intake and uh, can a student apply for september and january Yeah, so generally uh, at Brock we offer three intakes in a year. We offer winters and we have summer that is May and then we have fall intake. At the moment, fall twenty twenty one and winter twenty twenty two is available where students can apply and yes, they are applying for various programs. But since you know that we have couple of uh, very popular programs, uh, we generally gets filled out very very soon. So the competitive programs, a few of them that's already closed. However. the more of the program like business and some others are still open we do not offer any deadline for this year specifically so uh, students can still apply for 2021 september intake and january 2022 is is also open for all undergrad and all master and phd programs 
So that's nothing to worry about it. And even Aman, you must be pretty well known that Brock University is very um, active to offer release the offer later in a couple of weeks. So um, yep. you know you don't uh, you don't need to wait for much time to get the offer later. So that's how yes, students can still plan for September uh, or January 2022 to go ahead with Brock University. Yeah, that's 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 quite helpful. You know, if a student wants to apply for September intake, or if they don't want to apply for September, they want things to get better. They want medicals to open. They want to, you know, the flights to open. They can apply for January intake also. So yeah. students, you don't need to wait. You know, you don't need to wait if you want to go for January intake also. You can still apply, get ready with your application and, you know, be in top of the line when you apply for your visa. So, you know, uh, we have spoken about current trends, you know, how things are right now in India and Canada, how, you know, each uh, ca Canada is supporting the students from India. But... You know, it would be great if you can also talk a bit about Brock. Brock University doesn't need any introduction. So that's why I've been not been asking because we have been promoting uh, the university as your recruitment partner for, for from a couple of years. But to the viewers who probably are listening to us for the first time, if you can just share certain USPs about the university, the kind of programs that are available at the university, the admissibility criteria, the academic and the IELTS score required, and also the fee structure at the university, that would be great. Sure. Uh, definitely. So I'll give you a quick glance uh, to the viewers about the university, what we are, where we are located. So guys, it's Brock University. It's a public research university, uh, which was established in 1964. And I'm glad to say that we are one of the top public research university, which comes the top five best Canadian universities in Canada. And also, I'm glad to tell you that we are the only university in Canada who comes under UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. So uh, these things keep us uh, out of the leak from some various universities as well. Uh, even in terms of the location, as I already mentioned, that we are located in one of the beautiful city called St. Catherine, which is just an hour away from Toronto. Uh, there are a lot of benefits which students can get basically by studying at uh, Brock University. Uh, as being one of the top research universities, we offer n number of programs. We have more than 70 plus undergrad programs. Uh, uh, bachelor's degrees, we have more than 40 master's and PhD programs which we offer to the international students. And the best part is that we are very famous for our co-op programs. Most of our undergrad programs come with guaranteed paid co-op, which gives immense opportunity for international students to work with the local Canadian employers. And that can be counted as one year uh, particular practical experience. So this is something about the programs which we do offer. Apart from that, we offer a lot of scholarships as well. Uh, you know, generally a lot of institutions are having the reasons to choose them. But I don't find that there would be any reason that why you should choose Brock over others because we are one of the reputed institutions in Canada. But the only thing is that uh, the student, those who really want to go for a degree program, they, they only can apply and they can only you know, comes to us because we do not offer any diploma programs. We only offer undergrad degree, which a duration of four to five years and master degree with a duration from one to two years. Uh, apart from that, the city, St. Catherine guys, a lot of people, they say they want to go to Toronto or they want to go to Vancouver. Uh, some people don't want to go out from Toronto, but I must say that uh, as being a very near to Toronto, St. Catherine is a very small but very beautiful town. It's very, very safe for international students. We have more of the undergrad students. Those are coming next after their 12th examination. So their um, you know, uh, age are like 17, 18, 19 years. And parents, definitely, they are pretty much concerned about the safety and security of the students. So I just want to assure all our viewers that City St. Catherine is so beautiful and so uh, nice that when you go out on the bus or get out of the bus, people might say goodbye to you, good morning to you, good evening to you. That means people are very friendly there. You don't have to worry about it. Very, very next to Niagara Falls. So it's, it's very happening, you know, uh, generally downtown gets open till midnight, but you won't get the vibrant like Toronto uh, because that's more of the student city where you can relax, you can go around. You don't need a car. Public transportation is very good. The best part is the living expenses. That's most important part. I mean, I must say that where viewers looking forward to hear it, that guys living in St. Catherine is 67% cheaper than living in Toronto. So a lot of people, when they come to Brock and when they apply, they say, oh, sir, can we live in Toronto and can travel to Brock every day? No. 
even if it's just one hour, you cannot travel because there are a lot of things which we have at the university where you need to spend time. So it's always a good idea to go to Toronto on weekends, spend some days to one or two days, come back to St. Catherine. And uh, important thing is, if you are getting one bedroom apartment in Toronto in $1,000, the same apartment you can get in St. Catherine in just $400. So students can save a lot on their living expenses there, and they can actually spend the time and money on their education. Uh, from one of the best universities, I must say, in Canada. So these are few of the USPs, what we have, uh, not, not just education. Uh, I mean, you know, there are a lot of other activities what we do for our students, like uh, those who are interested in sports. You know, we have Olympic-sized big swimming pool at the campus. So we have uh, a number of uh, sports facilities, you name it, we have it, you know. So that means if you want to get engaged in extracurricular activities, Brock offers you everything, starting from education, from academics, to recreation, to uh, sports as well. So I must say, I mean, if you're spending a couple of years at Brock, you're going to love it. And the best part is that uh, we have been ranked number one university in Canada in terms of mental support services to international students by Maclean 2020. And we are pretty much sure that we're gonna same rank in 2021 as well. So that's something which is very interesting for international students and uh, also not only academics. So it is not just about getting you at Brock. Uh, we're gonna support the students even when they get graduated as well. So our employability ratio where we place students for jobs is very high in Ontario and is one of the top in Ontario that is 96.5%. So that means out of 100 students, 96, percent, uh, 96 students generally gets good jobs, you know, in Canada. So this is for what Brock is particularly famous for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And the, the passion with which you, you know, shared about Brock really depicts like, the kind of university it is and the kind of approach you carry for the university. Uh, just for a quick bite, just last request, like, can you can you share, like, as an Indian student, what should be my academic percentage in general uh, to apply at the university and what would be the IELTS requirement? Sure. So uh, we have seven faculties uh, for undergrad students. They can choose right. out of, like, they can go for science or mathematics. They can choose for education. They can choose social sciences. And we have uh, uh, Goodman School of Business, which is, of course, one of the reputed business schools in all over Canada, yes. where we yes. get more of the students for. Uh, so for, for all the faculties, we have different requirements. But in general, it starts with 60% and goes up to 75%. Like if a student want to apply for business communication program, you know, uh, or, or BA or BBA program, they must have 60 to 65% in their 12th grade. If they want to apply for BSc science, like neurology programs, medicines program, then they must have 65 to 75%. So it, it varies from uh, faculty to faculty, but in general, it started 60%. If you have 60 to 65, you can get to go uh, with Brock University. Also, one more important thing I'm on here, which I want to include, that most of our programs, they required mathematics as the main subject in 12. If students do not have mathematics, then we have a separate route for them. So they don't have to worry about it. They, they don't have it decided that if I don't have mathematics, I cannot apply for Brock. You still can apply for Brock for various programs. And we have different routes for them, which we can uh, share on different platforms. And I say that, um, uh, especially for viewers, you can always get in touch with the team pyramid and they can guide you that how you can get at Brock even without having mathematics in your 12th grade. Uh, in terms of IELTS requirement, our IELTS requirement is um, very decent, I must say, which is overall 6.5, not less than 6 each, as being a university. Uh, this is something what we look at international students to get into. However, we also offer ESL programs. If you do not need overall 6.5, not less than 6, but want to get into Brock, yes, still you can come to us and study three months ESL program, that's English language course, along with your main program, and you can continue with your program. Uh, this is about the requirements uh, for, and, and one more thing, in terms of English language requirement, we accept IELTS, we accept TOEFL, and we also accept Duolingo at the moment. So three of the tests which you can take and get into PROC. Uh, another uh, thing is uh, the tuition fees. So uh, guys, uh, you must be knowing that PROC as being uh, a big university in terms of programs, in terms of offering the services. Our tuition fee generally starts with 
$29,000 and goes up to $31,000 per annum. This is what a student need to pay. And uh, 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 apart from that, you must be knowing that, you know, the living expense and other, but that's pretty much cheap and, and St. Catherine, as I already mentioned it. So uh, this is this is about Brock University in terms of programs. Also, we offer a master degree programs where our MBA is very famous. It's very reputed program, which we offer to the international students. So they can also right. go with it. It's a two years traditional program. So the requirement is again, same, like, you know, overall 60%. Yeah. So that's what we offer at Brock University. Right. Right. Uh, that's, that's, that's really great. Uh, thank you so much for, you know, giving your inputs and insights about the university. And also, you know, uh, it was great to hear from you about the current scenario and what you and university feels about the situation and what kind of approach the students should carry. So uh, uh, I would not take more time from you, but but all the viewers who are watching us live right now, if you have any question to ask about the university, if you want to know which program, which, which, which intake is suitable for you, you can contact us on the number that is shared below. We will surely be helping you out. We are working from home. Excluding our three offices, that is Jalandhar, Moga, and Ludhiana. Jalandhar is open from 9 to 3. Moga is open from 9 to 2. And Ludhiana is open from 9 to 12. So if you want to visit these regions, you can go visit our offices. But I always suggest, you know, stay at home. Call on the number that is shared below. You can connect with our uh, uh, calling staff. They'll connect with you, our experts who are available on virtual counseling on Zoom. So we'll be helping you out while you are at your home. But if you want to visit, you can definitely visit at three of these locations if you are around these, these areas. On that note, uh, thank you so much, Pavan. Thank you so much. It was really, really great talking to you and you know, hear your insights about the university and the current scenario. I hope we meet up soon. Till then, stay safe. Uh, take care of yourself and all the viewers. Please take care of yourself as well. Thank you so much for joining us for this session. Thank, thank you, you so Pavanji. much, Aman. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here today. And uh, it's great to see you. Please stay safe and please take care of your family. Thank you so much, Thank guys, you. for watching Thank us. You so much. Thank you. Visa for a better life.